Hi y'all folks, this is Max from Epic4GTouchRoot.com So I've got another ROM review of the Blue Cuban um, ROM here, ICS ROM And uh, this one is actually pretty darn awesome um, One of my favorite things about it is the lock screen itself um, It does uh, portrait and landscape in any direction And uh, there we go, I'm opposite. And here's the coolest part, check this out. As soon as you move it, the, the Android guy, Android guy just does that. <laughs> I think that was really cool. I mean, doing this for hours high on Android. Oh yeah. Um, that's really cool, it's very themed, blue themed. Um, that's why it's called Blue Cuban. I'm um, not sure if the developer is from Cuba, but I don't know why it's called Cuban with a K. Um, but interesting name and uh, very good ROM. Everything's uh, skinned in blue, as you can see. And you got the I got the Wi-Fi on there. Let me turn it off for you, it's just so you can see what 3G and 4G looks like. Um, there's also toggles 4G there, so easily change it. And that's the 3G. And a lot of times with the custom fonts and stuff, some I usually don't like some weird fonts. You know, I like the standard fonts, but this one I like. Um, for Android 4.0.3, um, I still have a C20, FC24 modem, um, it's been working out for me, I'm not going to change that. Uh, but as you can see, it's Blue Cuban. Um, the greatest part about this ROM is that um, it's very bare ROM. Uh, everything's been stripped down, uh, touch was completely removed. Um, stock widgets, stock apps, um, keys has been removed. Uh, as a result, you get um, a lot less systems running. Um, only 221 megabytes of stock apps running versus 318 megabytes, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can actually see that. Let me turn off all the apps here. Oh, and this is new. Um, so with the recent thing, you get the uh, sort of like 1x um, recent app drawer. That's kind of cool. A lot of people have been telling me they love this ROM, so that's why I'm reviewing it. Uh, let's go to Task Manager. Okay, nothing's running. Oh, actually, let's go back there. Yeah, let's get the RAM. Um, so that's that's what it looks like. Uh, but very good ROM. There's no overclocking on this, obviously, because the IC this is off the ICS leak. Um, but another great ROM. Oh yes, and DSP Manager for uh, base heads out there. You can turn the base up, um, play with the equalizer. I love this. This is definitely, definitely great ROM. Um, so there, ha there you have it. Um, oh, it's supposed to have fast boot booting times. So let me reboot it and let's count how many seconds in normal reboot. I'll start counting when it reboots. So there we go. One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 seconds, not bad, um, it's supposed to have, it's supposed to be super fast, um, definitely great ROM, check it out, let me know what you think, and uh, I really like it, um, it's, it's a good ROM, oh, I forgot to show you the settings, um, oh no, no, there isn't settings, is there are UI customizations on this one? No, no, that, that, that's it, that's it, that's it. Sorry, I got confused with my other Nexus S1 I'm working on here. Anyway, uh, thanks you guys. Um, if you have an Epic 4G Touch, don't forget to sign up for my email list at epic4gtouchroot.com. Um, I update you once or twice a week with ROM of the week tips, hacks, and more. I don't share your email with anyone else. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like button for me, um, subscribe button up here. Uh, it helps me greatly if you have. Thanks a lot. Um, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Google Plus, or Facebook, and uh, stay high on Android, folks. And, of course, don't be an eye whore.